Hello guys, this is Young RPG Master. This is my first tutorial and I'll be teaching you how to use triggers. Now the first trigger, the action button, means that it will trigger the event commands after you press the action button near this event. So let me add a character here. And then let me add some event commands. And then now what will happen is that when your player presses the action button, which is the enter key, the space key, or the C key, near this character, it will say hello. <laughs> Let's see it. You can also do many other things with triggers. So for example, you can also make him jump. You can maybe trigger like you can make a cutscene after you talk to him. You can do all sorts of things. And now, let me teach you about the player touch button. First, you have to make sure there's no graphic. So or if there's a graphic you have to make sure that the player can pass over him otherwise it will not start and then what happens is that when the player touches this event it will trigger the event commands so for example let's say we make the player burn after he touches his command and let me make sure Sure, the priority is set to below characters, so that whenever the char the character moves over this object, and so what happens now is when the player touches this event on the floor, it will make him burn. Pretty cool, huh? So, after that is the event touch button. I haven't really experimented much with it. This one, I'm not really sure exactly how to use it either. Those two I don't really use, but this one I use a lot parallel processing. It means that it will run the command without you having to do anything. But it's a very dangerous co trigger because it will keep repeating the same thing over and over again. So you have to make sure there's it's invisible. And For example, like let's start, let's say in the beginning, it will say, welcome to the game. And then the text will appear at the start of the game with parallel processing. And now you need something to stop it. Otherwise, it's going to keep going over and over again in a loop. So what I do is that I use control self switch A on and, and then I make a new page with self switch A is on and then nothing's in the event commands. What happens is that once it says welcome in the game and then the player presses the action button to continue on, this self switch will turn on meaning it will also activate to this page and there's no event commands in this page so after it does that command once 
it will never do it again. Let's see how it works. See? Simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I will be making more soon. Goodbye.